Hi everyone, welcome to the Ravid Show. We are here at Fling Forward. Super excited to be with Vladimir here from Varvarika. Vladimir, welcome to the Ravid Show. Uh, first of all, great announcements yesterday at the keynote. Uh, I really loved it and uh, I'm kind of excited to learn more about it. I'm pretty sure my audience would love to know more about it. But just for audience, would you like to start with a quick intro and then we can get into all the announcements. Thank you very much, Ravid, for hosting me. I'm yeah. happy to be here and talking to you. Yep. First, um, yeah, short introduction. I'm sure. Vladimir Andreski. I'm the Chief Product Officer at Ververica. Yep. I am, I'm very happy to talk about the latest announcement that we had yesterday. Fantastic. Uh, uh, let's start with uh, Ververica uh, Platform 3.0 uh, that has been announced. Uh, what does this release represent for Ververica and its customers? Yeah. Uh, Verica Platform 3.0 is actually... Uh, very big milestone for us. Yep. So with Ververica 3.0, we are um, going a step further. We yes. are transforming Ververica from a stream processing, um, let's say, company mm -hmm. to a, or let's say system or to a more unified experience and a unified data platform where customers can enjoy all the benefits of streaming and batch and the lake house together. Nice. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is something exciting for the customers for sure. Uh, I'm kind of also wanting to learn a little bit about uh, what are the biggest changes and improvements customers will notice in 3.0 as compared to the earlier version. So that will give them more uh, in-depth so, insight. Uh, it's a great question. So uh, what they will actually experience, uh, let's say that it's a more cohesive, cohesive experience. Yes. Until now, let's say a lot of the customers had to stitch different tools for ingestion, for processing, for... Right for, uh, let's say, for um, analytics, uh, and uh, but now all this comes together in one. Yes. And that okay. is uh, that is the, the biggest strength that we bring, let's say, with... Uh, so across, uh, customers will be also able to have more consistent pipelines across different systems, across different uh, clouds yep. uh, and yep. uh, uh, tools. Okay. Uh, I feel like uh, having everything in just one place also helps the customer to not worry about having various tools and work around, uh, you know, but just having everything in just one place. Uh. Yes, that by on its own will cut down the cost, operational costs mm. will be lowered by uh, by mul multiple and that uh, operational complexity disappears. Yeah, 100% uh, agreed. Like, and cost kind of plays a very important role in enterprises out there. Uh, I, I know you also mentioned in the keynote uh, 3.0 has unified uh, streaming data platform. Uh, and what does that mean in practical terms for organization managing data across systems and clouds? Uh, how does it all come together? Uh, uni unification is a very important aspect. It breaks down the silos between batch, stream processing, and uh, the lake house. Yep. So with having a unified data stream, uh, streaming platform, you can have this, again, this uh, across systems, the consistency of managing your pipelines. And um, with, uh, let's say, what, when we had brought Streamhouse first to the world mm -hmm. before, we did introduce uh, a way of, uh, let's say, managing uh, your lake house uh, pay pipelines, but we, we, at that point, uh, we did it with a near real-time capabilities, and now we have added Flus into the game, which yep. completes that vision. So with Flus as part of uh, Ververica platform now, we actually enable that real-time lake house capabilities. I know. Uh, and I was also talking to Jock about it in, uh, I know 0 0.8 mm -hmm. uh, version is kind of coming up in, uh, he shared some amazing insights around flows as well. So excited about that. Uh, just a follow-up question. Why was unifying streaming in data batch uh, such important step strategically? Uh, if you can share a little bit about that as well. Uh, yes, uh, that's a very good question. So when, when it comes, let's say, uh, to unifying um, uh, batch and stream and uh, what it means that for organizations is they they now can act. They don't need just uh, let's say real the real time data to act. They also need the historical context, very and important. that will that will make decisions uh, let's say with way higher quality when when these decisions are being made. So that is very important for uh, for joining let's say bridging those uh, historical and life aspects in one uh, let's say cohesive. Um, platform. Yeah, uh, 100%. Uh, those are great points, uh, Ladimir. Uh, one more quick question. Does Barbarica position itself as the foundation for real-time AI? Because I see, you know, it. Uh, we have like the banner behind which says mm -hmm. the future of AI is real-time, right? Exactly. That's. Uh, we can see that in from different perspectives. Like uh, organizations actually need a data infrastructure back home. Right. And from, let's say, with having um, uh, 
streaming data, unified streaming data platform, you actually provide that uh, infrastructure. You provide a basic foundation to operationalize AI. Without having this foundation, AI can become actually very costly and can become a nightmare. So that is the other aspect. But on top of that, what we provide is not just the streaming data platform. We had announcements where we are bringing uh, capabilities such as um, uh, RAG um, and, right, uh, right. and LLM search within Flink SQL. So this adds the ability for, let's say, to, to, uh, to for AI to access live streaming data. Mm. And that is uh, where you can actually cover, like let's say, um, use cases such as sentiment analysis or actually your chatbots can act with, uh, let's say, with contextual and fresh data, which will lower the, the, the number of, uh, not the number, but the actual um, hallucinations. And, and that is a very powerful thing. Yeah, that's a very powerful thing. And it also makes the work easier and faster for the customers out there. But just staying on this topic, uh, from a customer perspective, where do you see the strongest demand or use cases emerging for real-time AI? built on Wawrika platform, if you can share uh, yes. something around that. Yes, that's, a, that's also another good question. So uh, everything around op operational analytics, let's say starting from fraud detection, yep. IoT, mm -hmm. um, supply chain and logistics. So uh, these are the, let's say, any, anywhere that you would need uh, um, real-time decision making. Mm -hmm. This is the biggest, let's say, all the, the biggest demand would be on, on that side. Nice, uh, and I'm pretty sure you have, uh, like, uh, you, uh, we all know Warwarka has, like, such uh, great enterprises you all work with uh, who are working in this space in real-time, uh, you know, processing kind of plays such a very important role for them. Uh, so that's fantastic. Uh, shifting gears a little bit here, Under the Hood, Vera X has been also introduced as a new engine. Uh, so how does it perform and elevate what's possible with platform 3.0? What's the connection there? Uh, VeraX, as we announced yesterday, is the first native vectorized uh, yes. stream processing engine. It's also a major uh, milestone for us. So VeraX was built for the scale of tomorrow. What, mm. does, what does that mean? So with, well, let's say within the era of AI, within, uh, let's say, the, the actual um, processing capabilities have increased multiple uh, fold, or let's say, we needed an engine right. which actually can sustain that. Mm. And with Vera X, we have built an engine which can actually have uh, uh, that type of throughput that can sustain, let's say, the scale of tomorrow. Yeah. So we are able to support any type of, uh, let's say, uh, very heavy AI-driven workloads. Yeah, uh, I think that is something which is very important. And with the, this new engine, it just kind of boosts up the 3.0 engine as well. Uh, Let's talk a little bit about the future. Looking forward, uh, how do you, uh, how do these innovations, platform 3.0, real-time AI, uh, Vera X, uh, set the direction for next phase of growth uh, for Vodvarika? Uh, would love to know a little bit about that for sure. So for us, uh, these uh, these innovations, uh, let's say, are the uh, are the backbone of how we're gonna continue forward. We see ourselves as the foundational layer for AI, and we're gonna continue to invest into making our engine better, yep. into adding more AI capabilities. And let's not forget that we have uh, yesterday also announced the first version of the uh, Flink agents, yeah, uh, which exactly. was the collaboration between uh, the, the different companies. Uh, but we are also leading that, and at some point, this will also become part of the platform. Yeah. So um, our platform is, uh, let's say, or we are committed into making um, real-time AI as easy as possible. Yeah, and I think with these announcements, it also helps uh, those, uh, you know, those who are streaming data, real-time AI, uh, it just makes, uh, g first of all, gives them more confidence to work around and flinky agents. I also spoke to Zing Tong and team, mm -hmm. and uh, they had something pretty amazing uh, to share about how different companies are coming together and making it real. So I feel it's not only an effort that Warburika is doing, but also the community is coming yeah. together. The community. Flink community is coming together, and uh, you're making those big moves. Uh, so can't wait to definitely see what's coming next. Uh, we'll keep the conversation going. Going, Radhimir, but uh, uh, great announcements yesterday. Congratulations on all the uh, fantastic announcements, but all the growth that Warwarika is having. One last question that I have for you, and uh, it's more uh, for the community. If they want to reach out to you or learn more about the announcements, where can they do that? Well, they can reach us always through our website. Nice. Uh, and they can um, 
reach us through our profiles. We are always happy to talk about uh, the next big things in real-time AI and into uh, streaming analytics. Love it. Uh, Radhimir, uh, thanks again for visiting the Ravit Show. It's your debut. I'm excited uh, to keep the conversation going. We'll chat more. Uh, but once again, congrats and uh, thanks. Thank you very much, Ravit, for hosting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today.